Welcome back to The Adventures of Chris and Mike. In this episode, we're going to be visiting the historic Fort Meade Museum in Sturgis, South Dakota. Join us now as my good friend Chuck Rambo takes us on a tour of the historic Fort Meade Museum. Very shortly after the post was established in 1878, a major in command very briefly, replaced by Colonel Sturgis, was Major Marcus A. Reno. Sturgis blamed Reno, in fact, for Custer's death. And more significant is the fact that with Colonel Sturgis was Lieutenant, or with Colonel uh, Custer was Lieutenant Sturgis the commanding officer of the 7th Cavalry's son. Lieutenant Sturgis had just gotten out of West Point Military Academy. This is his first assignment. He dies with Custer at the Little Bighorn, and his body is the only officer's body that has never been found on the battlefield. And the colonel suffered by the fact that his son's body was never recovered. Um, they told the wife of Custer, or of, of Sturgis, uh, that the body had been found, and they established a monument there in 1878, which is supposedly the monument of Lieutenant Sturgis, but in fact, to this day, the body has not been identified. The Colonel, Colonel Sturgis, very much resented Major Marcus A. Reno because Reno did not go to Custer's assistance and perhaps that's the reason Sturgis believed why his son died in battle. Major Marcus A. Reno, like so many officers of the frontier of that day, had a drinking problem. As a result of that drinking problem, very shortly after Major Marcus A. Reno got back from Little Bighorn, he's involved in an incident at Fort Abercrombie on the uh, North Dakota-Minnesota border, and he's dismissed from the service. The dismissal, according to the President of the United States, Rutherford B. Hayes, is too severe. And so Reno is required to take one full year out of the military. Reno has been out of the military the bulk of that year. He is just reinstated. When he comes back to the post, Fort Meade, and unfortunately he has a confrontation with a lieutenant in the rec hall, a disagreement over a bet and uh, Reno hits Lieutenant uh, Harrington over the head with a pool cue. I mean, the majors are not supposed to do that, apparently. He's under house arrest. He's at his quarters here at Fort Meade. It's November of 1879, a very, very quiet evening. He goes out for a walk. He sees a light in the distance. He's attracted to that light. When he arrives at that light, he realizes it is the front room of the Sturgis residence, the commanding officer's quarters. In the window, he recognizes 21-year-old Ella Sturgis modeling a dress for her mother. But mom is sitting in the corner. You can't see mom through the window. Reno goes up on the porch, and apparently he stood for several moments admiring Ella. Now, Marcus Reno is a very, very lonely 43-year-old. Ella is a very, very attractive 21-year-old, fully clothed, obviously. But Reno stood for several moments admiring her. And then he walks up to the window and knocks at the window. Ella looks up, sees Marcus Reno at the window. She screams, it's Reno, it's Reno. Her dad comes running down the stairs out onto the front porch, and of course, that's the end of the story for Reno. 
we know is court-martialed for, con for conduct unbecoming of an officer. He loses his rank, he loses uh, all of his benefits, his retirement, loses everything. He is dishonorably discharged. He goes back to Washington, D.C., attempts to get his position back. He died in D.C. in 1889. He has no retirement, no benefits of any kind, even to the extent that he's buried in a pauper grave in Washington, D.C. In 1967, a gentleman is writing a story about the Little Bighorn fight, writes considerably about Marcus A. Reno, and asks a grandnephew if he would consent to ask for the file to be reviewed. The grandnephew of Reno has the file reviewed. The federal government realizes that to court martial Reno for conduct unbecoming an officer was far too severe. In 1967, Reno is readmitted to the military, and so Reno is taken from that pauper's grave in Washington, D.C., to the Little Bighorn Battlefield, where he is buried today. He is the only officer who lived through the Battle of the Little Bighorn who was buried up there today. But the very unfortunate story of Major Marcus A. Reno. Stay tuned for more episodes of The Adventures of Chris and Mike as we continue our tour with Chuck Rambo at the historic Fort Meade Museum. And please subscribe to my channel.